Hi everybody, Laura Basson here. Thanks so much for joining me. Today I have a couple of fun projects to share with you using some of the new waffle flower products that the lovely and talented Nina Yang sent me to play with. First I'm starting with a bunch of dies and punches. I'm making a monkey face. I saw this one time on uh, Fisker's website. They made, have you ever seen all the different faces and animals and things you can make with punches and dies. When you piece all the papers together, you can make really cute things. Well, that's what I'm doing here. I'm making a monkey face by layering some random die cuts. So uh, right now I'm making the monkey's mouth and I didn't have the right size oval die cut. I needed the outside size of this oval. It's a nestability oval. So what I did was I just traced it because when you die cut it, it's actually a lot smaller than that. And I needed the, the outside edge size so I had to improvise and I just traced it and then trimmed it out with my scissors and that's going to be the monkey's mouth. The heart is from a Simon Says Stamp die set called um, Hearts and Spoons and now I'm using an inch paper punch for the monkey's ears and it's fun how you can just use all these random dies and punches and put them together. I think it's fascinating. If you ever go on Pinterest look up like punch people or punch animals or paper punch animals and you would not believe the things that people can create with shapes cut from punches and dies and things. I'm kind of weird but I think it's really fun and these are like so cute especially for kids and adults love them too. They make great birthday cards and just they just really make people smile. Uh, speaking of smile I am drawing the smile on my monkey mouth I use that oval nestability as a guide. You wouldn't have to use it as a guide. I just like that because it gives it a nice smooth line. And then I just drew some little nostrils with my Sharpie pen. Now I've got some pattern paper and the 3D bow die. I'm gonna die cut that bow. This is um, some Dear Lizzie Daydreamer pattern paper. And when I do a bow, I like to take my bone folder and kind of run it along the back side, and it starts to curl the paper. And I think it just gives a nice head start for your bow. It gives it a nice rounded bow instead of just folding that flat. I like to have a more rounded look. And this 3D bow die is so fun to put together. You just use a little brad. There's already pre-cut holes in the middle of it for you to put your brad, hold it together, and then you just wrap around that middle of the bow. And wrap around that middle of the bow, whatever. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But there's a little slit in the back of it that you can just tuck that end in, and it just fits perfect works like a charm and it's so simple to do and the cool thing about these bows is they're nice and puffy but they can also go flat for mailing so they can they're like 3d they can go flat and they can puff up so now i'm just adhering my monkey together really simple just some running some adhesive behind i'm going to pop up the monkey mouth because that looked kind of cool to give him a little dimension and just tape the ears behind the head so while I'm finishing up assembling my monkey and my monkey card, I thought it'd be fitting to have a little monkey background music. I mean, I wouldn't want to leave you just watching without having a little background monkey music. So we've got our very own Emma Bell Basson, and she's going to take it away. Here we go. <laughs> Fast like the monkey jumping on a bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called a doctor and a mom. Said, no more, mo no more monkeys jumping on a bed. <laughs> oh, Emma, she is a pistol, I'll tell you what. It took a few tries to get that song, and it's not as easy as it seems, people. There was a lot of bribery involved. Okay, so now we're moving on to the little, the little girl. I thought it'd be fun to use one of those 3D bows on her hair. So I'm using some more uh, random quick cut circle dies. The head was a two and a half inch. The hair is a three inch. And you can see that I die cut the hair on the edge of the cardstock. So it gives her like this cute little bob. And I did the same for the bangs. And then the bow is actually die cut from some Lawn Fawn Hello Sunshine pattern, pattern paper. And I'm popping up the bangs to give them a little dimension like I did the monkey mouth. And the eyes were just punched out from that Daydreamer scrap piece. And it's simple, so cute. Now, I took a scrap piece of, a, this is a half-inch circle punch, and I'm using that to draw on my smile. And you could totally just freehand the smile. You do not need to do that. But I, you know, I'm like perfectionist. So then I took a, a paper towel, and I just dabbed it in some of that cotton candy to just give her a little, little rosy cheeks. Now I'm taking the little, tiny little heart from that Botiful, 
stamp set. I'm going to stamp a random, just a background. Now this cotton candy is super duper light. Maybe I should have stamped it um, a little darker, but I, I just love that subtle, tiny little heart. It's not going to show up real well in the picture, but it's really cute. And then another fun sentiment from the Bowtiful stamp set. And there you have it. So fun and cute. Thank you so much, Nina. And thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day.